In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, add the collection filter to the impulse theme. It's kind of a pain in the ear, you know what. So if you look at this, when you go to any of these collections, right, and you have this filter by color here, and it has these really pretty swatches, right? So in order to get these swatches to show up correctly, they have to be named exactly as um, they are um, inside of the assets folder. So in this case, if you look at this one's called Aquamarine. Well, we ended up creating a swatch and uploading it into the assets folder. And how you get here is you're going to go to your online store and then you go to actions and you go to edit code. And then you are going to ooh, ooh, wait for it to load, wait for it to load. And then we'll expand it with this little box right here. And then you scroll down um, to your assets section. Now you don't, uh, you're going to have to create these swatches in Photoshop, right? These are real tiny, so if you go ahead and, in this case, let's go ahead and copy this one, and or you can create it in any other photo program, but they are uh, 50 by 50 pixels. So um, I'm just going to show you this other. So in Photoshop, what I did here is like, you go to New, and I'll make a, another swatch, and I'll paste it. So there's my purple. So if I look at the actual size of this, it's 50 by 50 pixels, okay? So I want to call that, when I save it um, as a PNG file, um, it's going to be called amethyst.png, right? So amethyst.png. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, say I didn't create that. I just saved it on my computer. Go ahead and add new asset. I'll choose my file, and then in this case, I have white gold plating, but I'm not going to upload that. So say that was Amethyst, it would upload it, and it would put it right here in the list for me. So for every swatch that you have, make sure they're named correctly. And if the, the swatch has multiple names, you're going to want to make sure there's a hyphen between it and not an underscore. So if you look in here, it's probably here you go, Cyan Ruby underscore. So that's not going to work with the underscore. So you have to have a hyphen in there. So this thing's kind of weird this way. So now if we go back and we look at this uh, website, you'll see here are the swatches and then the swatches are showing up here, right? Because they're named accordingly. Now under these products, if you look at this product, so we have choose your color. So in this case, it's called white gold plated, rose gold plated. So I have to make sure that I have swatches that are called exactly the same thing. White gold plated, rose gold plated. So if I go and I look at my assets folder, I went ahead and created those already. So I have uh, white gold plated. Notice there's hyphen, hyphen, right? And then you have red. I think I've got one in here. Yeah. No, so rose gold plated. So that one, let's see. So they have, yeah, rose gold plated. So they put a tag in here of red gold plated, which is incorrect. So this needs to have a tag of whatever these colors are here. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever the tag of these colors are here, right, white gold plated and rose gold plated, you have to have the same exact tag over here. So this is to choose your color for these options, right? So when I'm making my, my variants for my pricing and everything and I'm doing all the pretty stuff down here, right, I have to make sure that these names are also over here in this field over here. So I have to put rose, gold, here we go. This They have plating, right? So let's put plated. So let's do it for instance, right? So oh, I, I did plating. So rose gold plated. So rose gold, okay. Plating, so let's. Okay, so I did accidentally put rose gold plating because I was typing in, right? Well, you could do two things. So say for instance, you have a bunch of products that say ro rose gold plating. You can go into your assets folder and you can find rose gold plated, plated with an ED, copy it, you can right click on it copy it, and then you could say, uh, open it up in Photoshop, and then make another name called Rose Gold Plating, then upload it, so then you'd have Rose Gold Plated and Rose Gold Plating in here. So you can do that, but in, another way to just is to just get rid of that tag. So I'll just get rid of that one and call it Rose Gold Plated. There we go, the D. So now I've got rose, the white and Rose Gold Plated. Rose gold. Notice that the only way that the swatches will show on the front end is there's something called a swatch trigger. So the swatch trigger is inside of online store and you're going to go to actions 
and you go to edit languages okay and we're gonna find products and then color swatch trigger see that's the first thing on the top so notice how this says choose your color and the way this is spelled CLO you could have this you could call this whatever you want size choose your weight choose your whatever but if you change this say you change this to choose your color like that and you save it every option that you have that you want to have those nice swatches on you're gonna to have to change this to choose your color C O L O R so in this case we didn't do that okay so we're gonna go back and leave that the way it was but that's how you, ch you change it so that your swatches will show up um, on your collection pages otherwise if you don't do it you're not gonna see you won't see swatches below okay so if you don't make that trigger so next so we've already done that that was the first part of setting it up right so now we've got these products uh, white gold plated rose gold plated now I have to make sure that all the tags that I'm using for my products are also on the collection filter within within inside the theme here and I'll show you where this is so you're gonna go to online store you go to customize and you're gonna go into collections and you click on a default collection and over here you got the filter and then you got color so I turn off these other ones you can turn on a new one if you want but then over here I've got my heading is color and that's this here color okay so notice how they're all filled in see they all you see all the colors and the reason why they're showing is because I have the same names inside this drop-down list here as what my um, my swatches are called so I have a swatch called gray hyphen and hyphen white I have a swatch called fuchsia fuchsia dash pink I have a swatch called emerald dash green those are all inside of the assets folder here right so emerald here's emerald green emerald dash green fuchsia dash pink right so canary dash yellow so if I look in here I have to make sure all of these these tag these swatch list terms are the same canary yellow so if I had a product that has canary yellow in it I would call it canary yellow it'd be my tag on the product so here over here I would put canary yellow and if it was a drop down for a color over here you'd have canary yellow and then you'd see the swatch and then when you go to organize and you're looking for products that have that it would actually um, give you the correct filtering right so I selected something weird I don't know what did I select Oh, light blue so light blue wasn't even added there so I added one and then I ended up um, adding the swatch inside here to fix that so light blue wasn't showing up it was showing up as white so if you see any of these in here that aren't supposed to this is supposed to be white but if you see any here that aren't supposed to be white then you click on them to find out what they are so and, and then you'll take you to the product page and then you can see what this the, the drop down is so say for instance I didn't have um, uh, white gold plated and white gold plated was showing as uh, just a or I'm sorry rose gold plated and it was just showing as a, a white swatch I would go create a PNG file called rose dash gold dash plated right and I would upload that into my assets folder so I have rose dash gold dash plated and then it would automatically show up in my uh, swatch list on the left hand side for when I start doing my filtering okay so that's how you do it so if you ever get stuck on it and you're trying to get those swatches and they're driving you nuts and they're, they're not showing up you have to make sure that the names are all the same and then the tags on the products are the same and the actual names for the drop downs on your options are the same and make sure that you have your correct trigger at the top